Hey guys, my name is CJH Gaming and today I'm back with another video. Today I'm back with a new series. This is going to be a Max Verstappen career mode. So, hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Also, another thing before this video starts. The reason I merged two races together is because they were very short. Well, it was boring, so I made them... I edited all the boring stuff out, which actually made them all really short. So I just put them into one... well. Like, like one big video so anyway i still hope you guys do enjoy cars are ready the drivers are ready we hope you're ready as qualifying is about to begin here in bahrain so coming around the last corner to go on to our flying lap at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Uh, try again DRS down the start finish straight, which is quite a long straight. No one coming out of the pits to beat this time. Unlocking Australia, which we had a teammate coming out of the pits. Reaching 209 miles an hour just as we come down to the first corner. Anyway, skipping the, the first sector. and the first sector, we go, we set a... 29.3 First sector, which is purple, but no one's at a time, so yeah, it's obviously going to be purple Second sector, Hulkenberg sets fastest lap with 133.5 We go purple with a 109.7 in the second sector So we could be on to win, Ricardo, our teammate, gets a 134.5 And we, coming down to the line, using DRS We set a 133.0 which is in quite a good time, so hopefully that can convert that into a win. All set then for the race tomorrow, but before we go, let's quickly remind ourselves of our top three, who are Verstappen, Rosberg, and Kimi Raikkonen. It's time to leave for now, but we'll be back tomorrow when the Grand Prix itself gets underway. So we come pole. So hopefully we can convert that into a win in the race. So we're on the grid. We've got one light, two lights, three lights, four, and five. Lights out of the way we go for the second Grand Prix of the season. Hopefully we can try and get the turn one before the Mercedes get past us with their straight line speed. The Ferrari has a bit of contact with the other Mercedes. I think it's Rosberg. No, it was Hamilton. Rosberg's now third. Anyway, on lap five, we're now coming into the pits for our one and only pit stop of this race. So hopefully it can be a good one from the team. Uh, hopefully we also doesn't come out too far as Rosberg and Reichen are actually fighting for the lead as we saw we have, we have a 1.7.69 pit stop which is actually pretty good that's, a, that's actually a really good spot top stop to be fair but we're coming out in seventh just behind Grosjean hopefully yep and just in front of Sainz now coming to the end of lap 6, we're going to be coming past Grosjean. Quite an easy move down the inside. No, I'll be go wide though, to be fair. So, but we keep the position. Anyway, everyone on the end of lap 6, going on to lap 7, everyone else is coming into the pits. And we're back in putt first. We've got Grosjean still behind us, but he hasn't stopped. Now lap 8. Our Daniel Ricciardo's out of the race, our teammate. So let's see what happened to him. So he's coming around... The right, the left, no, the right, and then the left. Coming down the hill. Oh, he just has his engine blows. His engine just gives up on him. So that's our team out of the race. But anyway, coming around the last corner. Um, this race has been very boring, so it's going to probably be a short race. But anyway, coming up to the line, we win the 2016 Bahrain Grand Prix. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. 
It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader and their advantage at the top has been reduced. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Well, it's got to be Felipe Massa, hasn't it? He fought so hard and had incredible pace at times. I don't think anyone did a better job today. On to the constructors then. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. Meanwhile, good work from Force India this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. After all that excitement, it's time for a lie down, I think. Thanks for joining us and goodbye until the next race. As you can see, me and Nico Rosberg are equal points. He won the race in Australia, I come second. I won the race here in Bahrain, and he comes second. So going into the third race of the season, China, it's going to, like, whoever comes higher in the uh, table in with the points is going to be leading going into Russia. As I easily won in Bahrain, I, um, to start, I decided to turn the difficulty up to master. Um, so hopefully it should be a little bit harder, harder, and also we won't be just racing. Also, so I turn the damage up, the simulation, so any contact, and we're out. I'd like to welcome you from wherever in the world you join us today for this F1 qualifying session here in Shanghai. So coming around the last corner to go onto a flying lap. We have got traffic ahead of us, but hopefully that's not too much of an issue. Using DRS to start a lap. Now coming up to the snail section of the track. But anyway, comes to the end of this first sector, we go 26.9, which is an alright time. Could definitely be better. Now at the end of the second sector, we've got two cars ahead of us, hopefully, like... Oh, Bottas is going really slow, and anyway, we 56.3 is our second sector time and they're on the last sector the last corner I mean using DRS Hamilton goes pole and we come second only just though by two tenths of a second any three tenths but anyway as we wind down from the excitement of qualifying here's a look at your top three Raikkonen, Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton with qualifying complete all that remains is the main event We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. So yeah, we qualified sixth, just behind our teammate Daniel Ricciardo. But a second of the pace of Nico, the Kimi Raikkonen, which he doesn't normally come pole. But anyway, let's go into the race. Hard work, ingenuity and ambition. Got plenty of that here on the grid as well. 20,000 horsepower, give or take, to the hairpin at turn 14. On the way, you raced here, of course, didn't you, back in your Super Aguri days? In that yeah, that's right. I didn't last that long, though, unfortunately. Uh, qualifying had gone pretty much failed quite early in the race, around you know, 10 or 11, something like that. Complete a lap of this circuit. Just thought that you know, you like a good stack brakes here, though, you know, it's that long back straight. We've got one, two, three, four, five, five lights and away we go for the Chinese Grand Prix, the third race of the season. We had a brilliant race last, last well, last race, which was kind of a boring one, so you'll probably not see it. Anyway, we've managed to get ourselves in the second from sixth on the first corner. We've had somehow had a collision with Hamilton, we just shot us behind Rosberg. But now the virtual safety car has been, and Rosberg has broken, like, practically break, broke check me. Break check me. Anyway, it's the VR, VCR is ending now. So I'm going to be underway now. And I'm going to try and move up the inside of Rosberg as fast as possible, just so I can build up my lead. And we're up the inside. Are we going to do it? We've just squeezed him out a little bit wide. He didn't go off the track though, so... It's all fair. And anyway, we're coming down the back straight. Just hopefully we can not have any issues. Anyway, but now for the next couple of laps, we just pushed, pushed, and pushed for as much as we could. Anyway, we want to know what the weather's like. 
and it seems to be dry. So our, our teammates are now come into the pits. We're still struggling on these inters, but now we make for the call to go into the pits. So let's hope that our team can make it have a good pit stop and that we don't lose much time. Stopping just for the line. Yeah, like they're so satisfying. Stopping just before the line and not getting a penalty or anything. So how well can they serve this? We're going on to the softs so they can run to the end. And they're the faster tires. We've only got six laps left. We've got 2.2 second pit stop. And we're gonna come out first. So this is an amazing well that was a good pit stop. We made such a big gap to the other cars that we're still gonna come out in first, but only just though. Anyway, for the next couple of laps, we're just going to be pushing, but then on lap 11, Rosberg actually sets the new fastest lap, just after we did. And then Hamilton goes and puts one of them in. But not much really happens. Anyway, coming to the last corner, we win the Chinese Grand Prix. The second win we've had this season at the third Grand Prix. After that excellent result. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Let's give it to Kevin Magnussen. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. And now let's take a look at the constructors' standings. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. It was great having you with us for this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Until next time, though, goodbye. See ya, we'll win. As you can see, we're so seven points ahead of Nico Rosberg in the drivers and in the championship. We're 18 points behind Mercedes. Anyway, I'll be CGH Gaming. Hope you guys did enjoy. Again, more effort has been a lot of effort has been put into this. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.